the hell is a vampiric wolf anyway? That's ridiculous. I've never heard something so daft in my life, honestly. <sighs> well, yeah, it's going to be night time by now. Blast and damn it. Fine, whatever. Right, finally, there we go. Yes. This is what I wanted, game. I wanted some giblings or something. Not a vampiric wolf. Vampiric flipping wolf. Gah. Whew, anyway. Let's do this. Level up. Now, sadly, because we're only a bard, we can't actually get any more proficiency points in Longsword. Which is very, very irritating, in all fairness. But, on the other hand, it does allow us to be a little bit more versatile. I know for a fact that because we're a blade, we can actually get a, a little, few extra proficiency points in... Um, Two-weapon style here, which is something I might go for in the future. For now, however, though... I'm actually going to grab a point in Warhammer so that we can use this magical enchanted Warhammer that we've got. Um, there we go, and our pickpocket skill has gone up to 65 as well. I don't really, I don't think I'll ever really use pickpocket, honestly. I, I've never used it in this game before, but there it is. Um, so we can now equip this, which will give us a Thacko of 17, which is better than our longsword, which I think only really gave us some, like, 18 or something? 19, yeah, there you go, see? So, that's pretty awesome. Plus, this is a much better weapon, anyway. It's magical as well, so it might allow us to attack the vampiric wolf <laughs> if we run into it again. Um, that'd still be a bit of a risky move, that, though, in all fairness. But, yeah, that's kind of... That's pretty awesome. I never figured him originally as being a, a Warhammer type guy, but I don't know. Needs must, I suppose. Um, then again, you know, he's a pretty bloodthirsty kind of guy, Marcus. I can almost see a, a particularly gruesome weapon like a Warhammer being right up his alley Make in a way. Um, kind of like, I don't know, like kind of like Robert Baratheon yes, in a waste of my Soul of Ice and Fire. <laughs> C calm yourself, dear. We must um, proceed c carefully. Using a warhammer because it's a particularly brutal weapon and he gets a good bit of a kick out of it. Um, so I don't know, but anyway. In any case, I think what I'm going to try and do in the future is I'm going to start going into two-weapon style and I will start dual-wielding, like, maybe hammers and swords or something. Uh, it'd be pretty cool to dual-wield th that particular hammer with, say, a magical plus-two longsword or something. Um, that'd be pretty awesome. But anyway. Anyway, NPC stuff is happening. Uh, what? Oh, Emwyn, I, I wish you wouldn't do, do, do that. Just practicing my sneaking up on people. Didn't mean to scare you. But you d didn't c quite. Hey, come on. How am I going to improve if I didn't pra if I don't practice? I'd say you have the basics down very well. Next time, warn me what you're up to. Uh, th th that will make a real d test for your uh, abilities. Yep, you're on. <laughs> oh, Emwyn. You're not the brightest tool in the box, are you, really, at, the, at least at this point. Um, Alright, let's head back south. Even though it's night. We're going to get attacked by the imp vampiric wolf. Has he disappeared? Does the vampiric wolf disappear? I should bloody well hope so after about eight hours, but... Oh, no, no, of course not. He's still here. Why wouldn't he still be here? Um, can we avoid him? No. Stupid question. Stupid bloody question. Marcus, get in front. My blade will cut you down to right, side. um... Defensive spin. Go. Attack the wolf. Try and hit him at least once. You're the only person that can damage it. Can I help you? I can, Go and but try, try, attempt to stab it, Khalid. It won't work, of course, but... Whoa, there we go. Barely injured. It's kind of awesome hammer, really. It feels like flipping Mjolnir. It makes lightning fly everywhere every time I hit something with it, but unfortunately that doesn't tend to be very often. We're kind of just wasting ammo here, aren't we, a bit? Um, switch to melee weapons and do nothing, basically. Oh, come on! Really? Ugh! Oh. 
Right, if we if I die now, fine, I'll just quick quick load and then we'll go somewhere else and not fight the vampiric wolf. But um Jesus. See he's, he's paralyzed me basically, which means I can't do anything, and now he's slowly killing me and no one else can damage the vampiric Why is there a vampiric wolf this early in the game? Developers, why did you think that was funny? Why did you think that was a good idea? Seriously. This is ridiculous. Ugh. Who the hell is going to have an abundance of magical weaponry at this point? Honestly. Ugh. I mean, we feasibly could maybe afford a bit of magical weaponry, but that's only because we managed to fluke our way through the Basilisk quests. Oh, bloody hell. Fine. Um... Oh, don't tell me the latest quick save is here. Oh, I'm such what? a tool. Why did I quick save? Hang on a minute. Can we go this way? Can we avoid the wolf entirely, mayhaps? You know what? I think we might be able to. Cracking. Right, okay. We outsmarted the bastard. Whew. Um, I'm going to rest now. And if we get attacked by a horde of giblings, I might well lose my shit. I'm just saying. No, we're okay. It's 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 11 a.m. Let's just go. Let's get out of this godforsaken bloody wilderness. Get back on track. Vampiric wolves. Honestly, game. Oof. I'll come back and kill that thing one day, I swear. Just on principle, you know, it's annoyed me that much, but... Ugh. In all fairness, it was very out of the way, up in a distant corner of the map, but still. Ugh, really? In Chapter 1? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'm not amused. I'm really not. Well, I am in a, in a way, but not in a good way. Right, Nashkel, let's go. Fine day, dear. Uh, did you remember to wash your face? I did now. <laughs> With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. Gorion would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashkill mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. All right then, chapter two, finally. Uh, probably shouldn't have taken us this long to get here, really, but, uh, you know, whatever. We're in Nashkel at the start of chapter 2 and we're level 4, which, for me at least, is actually kind of a personal record. I've never Magical managed to get course. to Nashkel before at level 4. It's, at the most it's been level 3. Um, but, you know, aside from the last time I did this and it didn't record properly, but, uh, you know, in theory this is the first time I've you know, ever managed to do this and I'm pretty chuffed, honestly. So anyway, we are here in Nashville, and there's a man. Stand away, citizen. Identify yourselves. Uh, allow me to put ourselves at your disposal during a stay. Well, I, I guess that's why we're here, to you know, yeah, help the town and work. You know, do this. You know, check out the mines for the mayor, since that's why we're here. So. I am Marcus, and this is my band of fellow adventurers. I hear this is a troubled region of late. Allow me to put ourselves at your disposal during our stay here. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, kindly take it elsewhere. Things are not good here, Marcus. Uh, what things aren't good? All I've heard are rumours and vague suspicions. Aye, what is good round here anymore? Our iron is rotten and there is talk of demons in the mines. Lower levels have been all but abandoned until this uh, until this crisis passes. And then there's the question of Commander Bragg. Ugh, they stripped him of that title, but I use it yet. 
He killed his wife and children in a rage one night, and all who saw him. Uh, then he tore himself away and headed for the hills. It's out. He's out there, and still we mourn as much as him for him as for those he's taken. Fire on you now! You have brought tears to the eyes of a soldier. What? A wussy. Anyway, <laughs> um, so here we are in Nashville. It's a very small town, as you can see. Um, not really a lot here, other than a couple of NPCs, which I would like to speak to very much. A temple, a store, and... Um, yeah, that's kind of it, really. <laughs> I'm going to go to the store. Just to see if there's anything useful there, honestly. No sooner said than done. Welcome to my humble establishment. Interested in a little business on the side, friend. I've got I have a man who swears by his grandmother. He glimpsed a white wolf glimpsed, sorry, a white wolf up in the cloud peak ice fields. It was but a short way south, and it should be easy pickings for a smart sword. I'll pay you good money for its pelt, so it's a guaranteed sale if you go. Keep in mind on your travels. Can I interest in you with anything here in my humble shop? Yeah, what do you have for sale? So yeah, that's another little kind of optional side questy type thing. Apparently there's some winter wolves uh, to the south in the mountains or something. And this guy will pay us a fairly princely sum for each pelt we find from them. Um, I do intend to go looking for some of those wolves, actually. It's easy money, really. Right, let's sell some of these gems. And or jewellery. 89 gold. Much say no to that. Anything else, guys? No, we just got in one's artifact, um, which we cannot sell. So, anything we can identify? No, not really. Whatever. Um, what time is it? It's 4 p.m. Yes. Still well within the daylight hours. No point in going to the tavern yet, then, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to go this way. Instead, because there's people we need to speak to, For the glory of arms. like this guy. Hello there. I recognised your hero in your group, so you must be the adventurers I was expecting. I am Baron Gaskill, Mayor of Nashcorn, and I am happy to welcome you. I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. Mm, save your pleasantries and answer my questions. How did you know of my plans to come to Nashcorn? Well, because he's expecting us. Jahira even said as much, I think, when we met up with her. So that's a dumb question, Marcus. Um. Uh, what exactly is the trouble here? I can't believe you haven't guessed. Have you heard of the iron shortage? Well, Nashville is in the thick of it. Our mine has been shut down because the workers continually go missing, and what all we do get is tainted somehow. I would send in the town guards, but we need them to protect our citizens from the bandits that raid our caravans. We need you to find out what is wrong in the mines southeast of town. I'll need an appropriate reward for my time, of course. If the gratitude of an entire town is not enough, do not worry. Uh, you will be rewarded in gold if that is all you desire. Now go and uh, do what you can. Onwards we march then, Marcus. As this is your first mission, I fear that my skills as a healer will be heavily tested. Nevertheless, I will try to return all of, all of us to Baron still in one piece and victorious. <laughs> Provided you don't try and smash my skull in again, Jahira. Yeah, I don't think I've forgotten about that little incident, because I've not. Anyway, oh yeah, there's this guy I think we can talk to. Uh, yeah, Ublek. Oh, you have returned, and so soon. No, say not another word. I would not think of making you wait but a moment for your just reward. When Council told me that they had procured Grey Wolf to rid the wolf, woods of the bandit Tonquin, we knew we could expect swift justice. I would, uh, I would not have predicted success this quickly, uh, but who else could it be striding into town looking, uh, looking as you do? Please accept this meager sum of 200 gold pieces, as well as the heartfelt thanks of all of Nashville. Um, we have two options here. We can either say, I am not a great wolf. Take, keep your money. It's not mine to take. Which isn't very marcus -y, honestly. Um, at least I don't think so. Or alternatively, we can try and bluff and say that we are indeed grey wolf and accept his 200 gold. Um... So, uh, uh, yes, yes, I would be Grey Wolf. That's me, all right. None other than Grey Wolf himself. I'll take that reward because of what I did. <laughs> I'm Grey Wolf, and I deserve it. Thank you. 
Excellent doing business with you, Grey Wolf. We shall not hesitate to call on you if any other thieving miscreants make their presence known. Hey, 200 free gold. Awesome. Oh, Marcus, you silver tongue devil, you. Because of uh, what I did. <laughs> anyway, oh, I almost walked walk, walk past someone very important then. Um, okay, this over here, this fine gentleman. Well, he's not such a fine gentleman, but uh, whatever. Is Minsk. Some of you will undoubtedly have heard of Minsk, and many, those of you who have played the game will probably not have forgotten him any time soon. But anyway, this is Minsk. And he is a potential person who can join our party, and I'm going to speak to him. Stand and deliver, that my hamster might have a better look at you. Let us pass, strangers, for we have not much time to waste. What? Uh, yeah, yes, I'll ask them. Boo and I go to rescue rescue my charge, Dinah here. You may aid in our victory if you wish. There is glory enough for all. Um, excuse me, but are you talking to a rodent? Boo is my faithful animal companion, and more than he seems. <laughs> so yeah, we, this is Minsk. He is a ranger. Um, he uses two-handed swords, and his animal companion is a is a hamster called Boo. <laughs> um, he's about as mad as he sounds, really, um, and he's pretty fantastic. Now, with three options here, we can say I'll not risk my skin for a stranger's neck, which. Marcus might well say under certain circumstances. I'll not follow a loon into battle. My sympathies to your friend, but you're on your own. Or we can say the classic dilemma of the damsel in distress. How could anyone decline? Um, which I think I might go with, because I think A, now we're filthy rich, Marcus is a little bit less concerned with making money and a little bit more, especially after the whole talking chicken incident. He's kind of more interested by stuff that just genu generally sort of amuses him, and uh, he finds this strange foreigner that, talk with a, which, that talks to his hamster fairly amusing. Um, so I think he might even sarcastically actually go like, oh, the classic dilemma of the damsel in distress, how could anyone decline? And, <laughs> yeah, the, the sarcasm, of course, goes completely over Minsk's head, and he's, he's like, take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have carried the favour of Boo. The only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion ever since my <laughs> head wound. He will lead us to victory. Onward to the Knoll stronghold in the west. Tarry not, we must go soon. Wow, a damsel in distress and a brave warrior to come rescue her. Wish that would happen to me. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I don't mind the brave warrior so long as he's handsome, but the part about being in danger I can do without. Minsk will rescue a nice girl like you, fear not. But now it's glorious Dinah here that we'd need to rescue. Onwards, friends! <laughs> so, yeah, he's what? just joined our party and he wants to go rescue um, this friend of his called Dinah here. I'm going to shove him up to the second slot in the party. Khalid can go third. You can go there and Imwan can go last. Make it a waste of my talent. And, yes, this is Minsk. He is. Level 4, because we're level 4, which is very, very good, because as a ra level 4 ranger, he's actually probably more powerful than... In fact, I'd definitely say he's more powerful than Marcus. Um, and that was why I was keen to level up before coming into this area, because if we were level 3 and we came here, Minsk would only be level 3. So, uh, there you go. And yeah, he's, he's ridiculously strong. He's got decent dexterity and constitution. He's pretty stupid. He's very unwise, and he's not particularly charismatic either, so... That's that's Minsk in a nutshell. And there's Boo. You can even see him in his little portrait picture. So there you go. His racial enemy is Null. Um, he gets loads of attacks. He has a base Thaco of he has base Thaco of seventeen and a Thaco of fourteen with his great sword equipped. So he's really good. At, really, really good in close combat. This guy is basically um, insanely good in close combat. Mostly due his, to his ridiculous strength. So, um, yeah, well, he's um, he's only got studded leather armor at the minute. We're going to go replace that at the shop, I think, with some plate armor or something. And maybe a spare weapon or something, because Minsk has a tendency to break his weapons quite often, I've found. Um, but you also hear in his, see here in his quick item slot, a small hamster. <laughs> Boo scuttles away as you try to grab him, and Minsk stops any further attempt to steal the animal with a harsh glare. <laughs> 